that are that are pressing in your mind, things that you're thinking about, things that you're hoping for, uh, uh, you're excited about, and um, then there's certain things that you're excited about that um, hasn't happened, and you become depressed because it hadn't happened yet. And it's like life is like your life is like a cycle. You're going through the same thing over and over again, and you want to you're tired of the cycle. You want to break the cycle. You want to get to the place where the things that you dream about, the thing that you prayed about, the thing that you want, it actually happens. Not just you dreaming about it, but it actually happens. And so I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. But I want to say this, that um, with Daniel, with the uh, the hyperbaric chamber, and one of the definitions, well, the purpose of it is, is an increase in oxygen, increase in air. And the purpose of the, the, the hyperbaric chamber is to heal your body, but also is to cleanse your body of infections and stuff like that. One of the things that I noticed that Daniel, before he would get into the uh, chamber, before he started uh, having these um, um, having these treatments, he said that he didn't sleep that good. He said he didn't sleep that good, but uh, because the air and it's helping his lungs and stuff, and so now one of the benefits of already one of the benefits of the chamber, the, the hyperbaric chamber, is that it's helping him sleep longer. And I know it has something to do with his wind and his breathing. And matter of fact, I'm thinking about uh, making an appointment and having me a few sessions too to get in the chamber, where it can kind of help my breathing, where it can help me sleep at night, where it can help me in, in so many ways. And so, because you know, most of us, when it comes to stress, and we don't realize and recognize that we hold we hold our breath. We hold our breath a lot when it comes to struggles and when it's just life in general, we hold our breath a lot. That's why it's so important to like, like to take deep breaths in and out because what it does, it, it creates an airflow through your body. You know, it cleanses your body. There's some people that do a lot of breathing techniques. And, and you know, the breathing techniques do help because you know, I've, I've learned a few myself. I know especially like if I'm really really upset i'm really really upset and like my 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 i'm upset my body temperature or my i'm angry what i would do i would take deep breaths i would take deep breaths to to, to calm my body down and calming my body down it, it, it'll help calm my mind down and it help calming my mind down it'll help calm everything down you know so i've learned a few a few things to, to to like fight against depression to fight against uh, when things don't go my way, to fight against stress, to fight against disappointments. And I will say this, the scripture says, the scripture says that to train a child up in the way that they should go, and when they're older, they won't depart from it. So I will say structure is very important. Structure is very important when it comes to discipline, when it comes to uh, dealing with the mind. You gotta have structure. And the greatest structure is the Bible. The greatest structure is God's Word because one of the purposes of, of God's Word is to bring structure. It's to bring structure, especially when you're dealing with something and something is pressing your mind, something, a relationship, uh, or someone that died in your life, or someone is hurt, or there's a disagreement, you're just uncomfortable. What happens is that what will help you is some type of structure to be able to take your mind off of that to take your mind off of that, that you're thinking about. It comes to structure. This is why the scripture says that God says, come, Jesus said, come unto me all you that weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. My yoke is easy and my burdens are light. And the purpose of him writing that was to take your mind off of what you're dealing with and put it on him. Let him deal with the situation. You don't have to deal with it. You don't have to stress about it but you can trust that he can fix it. Well, now you might say, well, how can God fix something and it is my problem? He can fix it by your mindset toward it. You know, don't react to things that react to you, but respond. And what I mean by that, when something comes up against you, don't just respond, don't just react to it. Process what it is. One of the things that, that one of the lessons that I learned when I'm going through a trial, when I'm going through some kind of disappointment, when I'm going through a test, and when that test has set up in my life, a lot of times I will say, well, God, what you're trying to teach me? God,